Tonight, the president is here in New York raising big money for Democrats because in some places this is a big election year. That means a big ticket crowd tonight. That means our chief White House correspondent and political director Chuck Todd is there on Columbus Circle watching it all for us tonight. Chuck, good evening. Good evening, Brian. Well, it's a mix of business and politics as the president wraps up this quick trip to the Big Apple. But with three different fundraisers on tap tonight alone, it's clearly the politics that's taking precedent. Thank you, Thank you sir. Thank the president today praising agents and staffers at the FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force Thanks in New York everybody. City, Thank thanking you. them for their work on the front lines preventing future attacks. The record of your service is written in the attacks that never occur because you supported them and because uh, the countless Americans who are alive today as a consequence of that work. But the lion's share of the president's trip is about raising campaign cash, something he's been doing more of as Election Day 2009 draws closer. The president is coming under some criticism for tonight's big ticket events because they are taking place just a stone's throw away from Wall Street, a place where as many as a third of tonight's donors work. And the appearance is somewhat awkward for the president, given his tough talk last month on reigning in Wall Street. We will not go back to the days of reckless behavior and unchecked excess that was at the heart of this crisis, where too many were motivated only by the appetite for quick kills and bloated bonuses. Still, the picture of the president with donors who paid upwards of $30,000 to see him may not sit well with the public. There are so many people unemployed today, and when they see the president going to a fundraiser where people are paying thousands of dollars to get their picture with the president, it's just unseemly. It also comes at a time when Wall Street's ways are under siege. It's something Neil Kashkari, who oversaw the bank bailout for both the Bush and Obama administrations, believes is deserved. The Goldman Sachs veteran told CNBC's John Harwood that Wall Street needs to show restraint. What people on Wall Street need to remember is that the vast majority of Americans did not create this crisis. Experts know presidential fundraising is nothing new, but today's economic realities make for a tougher backdrop. Unfortunately for Barack Obama, he's having to raise money at a time when, you know, we're either in or just coming out of a recession, and times are tough for people. Brian, one Democratic strategist said that part of the president's problem is simply his own expectations. Some of the rhetoric he said on the campaign trail made it seem as if he was coming into office in a clean white suit. So now any speck of mud, like raising money from Wall Street donors, shows up a lot clearer than if he came in just as another politician wearing just another gray suit. Brian. All right, Chuck Todd here with us in New York tonight covering the president. Chuck, thanks.